Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use FileZilla and how to install it on your computer so that you can transfer files to and from your WordPress sites. So FileZilla is an open source project. Uh, it includes a client and a server that you can connect to your WordPress site and you can download files, you can upload files and you can make changes and you can connect in a secure way which is the most important thing. Right, so the first thing that you want to do is go to Google and just type FileZilla and then you you'll be shown something like this and here you can choose to download it like for uh, whichever uh, if you have like a Windows or a Mac or whatever one, whichever one you have so just download it so let's go to download so in my case I have a Mac so I already downloaded it but you you can just go ahead and download it just uh, follow the wizard and once you have it installed it's gonna look something like this and here what's important is that you can on the left side this is your local side this is where your things are gonna be so if you have like a folder you can search it here so this has your entire computer here all the files on your computer so I already have like a project so it's called uh, Gateway Bronco but I'm just gonna create a new one for this one so I'll go on the desktop and let me see if I, I don't have another one so I'll just put I'll just create one on the let's just create it right here so new folder I'll just say test file filezilla okay so let's come back here and maybe refresh it so we're on the desktop so let's see if we created it so it should be around, oh no, it's test, right? So it doesn't appear here. Okay, so sometimes you have to just wait a second before it comes up here. And if it doesn't come here, you can just close it and open the application once again. So I'll just open it again. FileZilla, close. And now if I go to, let's see, so you have to do some navigation here. Maybe let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so come to desktop here. So we'll open that one. And then test, test, where is the test one? Uh, I don't see, oh, test filezilla. Okay, so now you see it on the left, right? So I'm just gonna select that one. So this is, the, this is gonna be the path where all the things that I'm gonna get from my WordPress site are gonna be downloaded to so let me open this folder on visual studio so that you can see what i mean so go to visual studio open a new window so it's gonna look something like this let's see all right so then just go to visual studio and you want to open the the folder that you just created so go to desktop and test filezilla here open so now you see that i have the folder here and once I download something, uh, once I connect to the WordPress site and download something, you'll see that uh, the files are gonna pop up here, okay? So let's minimize this for now. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do before you connect to your WordPress site is to look for your credentials. So you should have the credentials to your WordPress site if it's yours, right? If someone else set it up, you have to ask them to give you the credentials. And where, where can you get the credentials? It depends. If you have your website, let's say on Cloudways, right? If you have you have it hosted there, then you can create like FTP access from there. So then you'll create like a username and then a password, and then you can access uh, via FileZilla or any other like FTP uh, software. So if you have it, so if you have it somewhere else, let's say that you have it, uh, I don't know, like a different hosting provider, right? Maybe GoDaddy, right? So then you'll go to GoDaddy, you'll look for the credentials or create the credentials. And then once you have it, you can come to FileZilla, and then you can um, you can connect to it. So this is just, this is just some tests. These are not credentials to any site. Maybe I'll do a video. I I just don't want to share the dashboard of any of my websites because it's uh, it's a risk. But you have to get the FTP credentials, so otherwise you're not gonna be able to connect using FileZilla, right? So that's the first thing that you want to do. So if you have them, great. If you don't have them, you need to get them. And what do you need to get? So you need to get the host which is where you're connecting to. You need to get the username, which you can once again create it from your hosting provider. The password, you'll create it from there as well. Usually it depends. So if you're connecting 
uh, over FTP, just FTP, then we'll use port 21. If you're connecting over SFTP, which is a more secure way of connecting, then you'll use port 22. And that's pretty much what you need, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna connect to, to a website, but I'll do it off the screen and then I'll show you, okay? But you wanna go here and as I said, so let me just put this on the side here and then put this here. Okay, so the host, so I'm gonna need like a, like an IP address, right? The IP address of your host. So this should come as well from the, if you go to the dashboard of your hosting provider, you'll see it. The port, if it's, if it's SFTP, then you wanna do 22. You can change it to FTP, then you can use 21. And the other one, I've never used it. I don't know what what that is. All right, so the logon types, how do you wanna log in? Anonymous, ask for password. If you click anonymous, it's not gonna ask you for anything. If this depends on the security of the site, right? Normal, this is the usual way that we connect with a username and a password. Uh, ask for password, same thing. So it, this will be always uh, a requirement here. Interactive, uh, it's just the username, other ways to connect, key file. And this is with a key file that you might have under your computer, like a secret key. But usually we do it with the normal, the normal way and test FTP, password, and then just click on connect. So right now it's not gonna work for me because you can see here that's trying to connect and it's not gonna find anything because that website doesn't exist or those credentials are just made up. So I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna connect off the screen and then I'll show you how to download, upload files to your website. Okay, so let me just grab some credentials and I'll be back in a second. All right, so this is this is how it looks when you connect to a website, so or your WordPress site, right? And you're at the root. It always uh, takes you at the root, or usually it takes you to like a different path. But right now I have all the files at the root, right? And here at the root, you can go to public .html, public underscore html or private .html. These are the logs, the configuration file, SSL, temporary folder. So you want to go where it says public that H public underscore html okay so once you get to public uh, underscore html you have all the files here as well all you have the ht access that ht access file you have the index.php readme file so if you want to see the content you want to see the theme and you want to see other things you want to go to the content right so wp dash content and here you can see the themes the plugins that you have installed and all of these things, right? So maybe I can show you the themes here. So this is just like a test website. So I just have these themes. So these are the folders for the themes. So let's say that I wanna access the 2024, right? So this is the latest. And maybe here I wanna, um, I wanna get the style sheet, right? For this website. So as I said right now, you wanna look on the left. On the left, you have the path where the things will be saved. And on the right, you have the website that you're working on or the, or the WordPress site that you have connected to. So let's say that you wanna download the style that CSS, then you'll do right click and then you can download and you can do more things. You can also create directories here. So I'm just gonna download it. And once you click on download, let's go to Visual Studio. So you'll see it that's here on the left. So it's, it has downloaded. All right, so let's click on Visual Studio and let's see here. See, now you'll have the file here and you can work uh, with this file. You'll click on it and then, and then once again, you'll have the style sheet for this website. So here you can add more things. So let's say that you wanna add something like, um, I don't know, maybe you wanna change the, uh, the body color, right? So let's do, let's do this. It's just like a style sheet here. We'll just say um, background, background color, say blue and then we'll save it, right? So we'll do that. And now we have the changes here on this file and you can see where it was, uh, when it was edited. So let's say that you wanna move it to, this, to, to your WordPress site on the right. So then you can just drag and drop. So let's just drag it. We'll drop it here. And usually it asks you what you wanna do. You wanna move it, yes or no, right? So it tells you to overwrite it. So you have to click yes. And then if you, if you don't want this pop-up to keep coming up, then you can just click on always use this action or only apply for this or no. 
and this is pretty intuitive so for now I'm just gonna I'm not gonna click on any of that I'm just gonna override the file okay all right so then you can see that it's it's gonna be overrided and you can see here that it's been modified on this date so, all right so now if we go to the website the background color should be blue right and the changes take uh, effect immediately because you're you're actually connected to the server so you're actually dragging and dropping files on the fly on right there but if you go to the website you'll see that the changes have been made so you can see here how you get the well we just had it right so let me just remove it and then you'll see that we removed it right yeah so right now it's it's not being applied to anything I guess because the structure maybe doesn't have the body uh, the way it has or maybe there's something else overriding it but you can see that the changes uh, that we made are here so now I'm just gonna get rid of the changes and drop it once again and then we should see that this will disappear right so once again go to Visual Studio let's just delete this then go to FileZilla and here we just want to do the same thing so we'll just drop it back here okay it's gonna ask me like if, if I want to override it or not we'll just say okay and then if we go to the website and then just refresh you'll see that the changes are not there anymore so we're connected to the WordPress site maybe I didn't target the HTML correctly but you can see that the changes are there and that we're changing the 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 live website okay so that would be all for now uh, if you want to disconnect from this one you just have to close it uh, you don't really have to do much so you can just close it and then that would be it all right so I think I'll stop here so that's how you actually use files in to connect to your WordPress site how you make changes maybe I, maybe I'll do a different video where I actually make more changes or maybe connect to a different way because there are different ways uh, different ways to connect to your WordPress site and yeah subscribe to the channel leave a comment and let me know what other videos you want me to make and i'll see you in the next one thank you